caught this guy. I just turned the light on. The light was off, but uh, I'm going to do a uh, repair on the UV sterilizer. Not really repair. The bulb's out. And I was doing maintenance this weekend, actually, the other day, and looked up here, and this LED was out. Uh, that LED right here on this control box is what tells you that this bulb is no longer working. So the circuit's broke on the bulb, which means no LED light. So I went and picked one up. I've just got a PetSmart right around the corner. And so here's what really shocked me. Sticker shock, actually. The unit, uh, before tax, the unit was right at 33 bucks. And I was just kind of freaking out. And what it is, is they basically sell you they sell you this entire, this is it, they sell you this entire plastic module, even though you can kind of see how it's clipped in and whatever, you, you get this whole module, and then you just wire and all, I mean, here they show, they give you everything except the power head, uh, and you just replace that whole unit, you can see the blue blue lines there, kind of a sticker shock to me. Uh, curious, uh, anybody else out there that's doing a UV sterilizer or what, what those bulbs cost, uh, if that seems a little pricey for a UV bulb. And I haven't had this long. It hasn't been six months. So just curious what you guys think about the cost of that. And I'm actually going to uh, take it out of the 120 for a while and put it in here. I haven't lost any of the rainbows. Uh, the thread fin, and they're moving around really good looking for food, but I'm going to, uh, you can see good body language, nobody's at the, nobody's like really breathing air, I mean they're moving good, they're curious, they're eating well, but I'm going to move the UV sterilizer in here for a while until these guys clear up with ick, uh, and then I'll move it back. Just trying to catch this thread fin rainbow, they are so small, and they move around so quick. Oh, there's one right there. See how his fins were out? Let's see if he does it again. Such a pretty fish. These are really tall. I mean, they're they're very tiny. I mean, it, um, well, anyway, that's just so pretty. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. This uh, water sprite in the 33 is just taken over. I actually had to push it back some this morning because it had filled all this space right in here and then it was just making this whole thing dark. Um, and I lost a female twig catfish. Um, it was just really bummer. The male seems to be doing fine. He's he likes hanging out in this cave right here. Um, there's a little cherry red right there. Very interesting fish. You can see the bone armor. The guy really likes blood worms, believe it or not. I put blood worms out. About once a week I'll drop a cube of blood blood worms in this tank for all the shrimp to show up for and uh, he's just an interesting fish um, alright well that's the 33 it's kinda gone crazy on me pull back a little bit I'm not necessarily uh, 
this is just too much. It's, it's going to choke out all the other plants too because it's doing a power grab for the light. Um, about two weeks ago, this guy here was fighting with the big blue. And this guy's showing some serious damage. You can see uh, the rear fins are kind of cracked. Uh, these fins show some serious beating up. You can see, I mean, he just looks like he's been in street fights, like nonstop for, for a while. Um, let's see if he'll, he'll turn over this way. But Big Blue back here, um, he's got every now and then he'll show a little mark, like maybe that one right there. Um, but other than that, he he looks like Superman. So I'm trying to figure that out. I don't really know. Yeah. See, I keep thinking they're going to stop. Let's see the, the fin damage right in here. You can really see it. And you can see some scales lost in here. Um, it's about as bad as I've ever seen it. I don't know. I... I haven't seen any blood. Uh, I haven't seen anybody look like they're mortally wounded. But uh, wow, these two look like they're going to kill each other. Or specifically, um, the, the big guy back here looks like he's going to murder somebody. That's another story. So I don't know. I'm just trying to figure all that out. Uh, here's a good picture of the, the German Blue Rams. They're doing really well. That's more of an electric blue. Uh, with the German blue ram, but this the sky's color is looking really good. And the puffer. Everybody always likes the puffer. My wife's favorite fish. And uh, that guy's doing pretty well. Everybody wants me to feed them. Uh, but the plants, the, the plan on moving the twig catfish to the 33 was to let the lilies uh, recover. You can see this banana plant back here, it's doing really well. And then if you look over here, the tiger lily, it's got two leaves here and it's really thickened up in the back as well. So, um, so that worked pretty well. And there's my SAE. Uh, that's a great fish for a planted tank. He does a really good job of going after algae. And then this is the last of the flower shoots on the lace plant, and it's just totally disintegrated. And when I do maintenance today, I'll be pulling that out of there. But, but that's really it in a nutshell. And uh, I'm trying to get a video together for you guys on the water. And just really talk about the unique properties of water, the physical properties, and the things that about water that pretty much make it amazing. So, um, but yeah, I need to do some maintenance today. The, this this tank, it pearls now, which is so bizarre. Well, I say that, and I don't see it pearling there when I bubble. I need to, the other one, another one. I need to clean the clean the glass. And I actually put this little algae in for the shrimp to feed on. But these guys are good. The, the one thing I've noticed, just as a heads up, because I get a lot of questions about shrimp, the heater that comes with these little nano tanks is usually fixed around uh, seventy eight. And what I've noticed is the metabolism for these is a lot slower. Uh, they don't grow as quick. They don't eat as quick. Uh, there's not as many as they don't proliferate like they do in this tank that's got a temperature of 82 degrees. So um, that's set at 82 and this by the way is set at 84 and it tends to spike. It's 83.4 but it gets a little above 84 when all the uh, all the lights aren't on yet. But 
and I'm going to wrap this up. But hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, the threadfin rainbows are, are a cool fish. So, really happy I got those for the 33. And I'm uh, going to do some maintenance. Time to do some work. Happy Saturday. Later.